Hi everyone, I am preparing this video because one of my students of excellent PU College Moodabhidri has requested me to do this topic yesterday. These videos are useful to the students, those who are in final round of need revision. Well, students read bio textbooks many times, 5 times, 10 times or more than that. Do you think they can score above 300 in bio just by keeping NCRT sentence in mind? It is necessary to understand certain concepts very clearly. It means they have to go deep into certain concepts. For example, in human health and disease, under cancer, we study that breakdown of cell cycle regulatory mechanism causes cancer. In this video, we shall try to understand the cell cycle regulation mechanism in eukaryotes. A mammalian cell would take around 20 to 24 hours to complete a cycle, cell cycle. We have studied this in first year syllabus. This is divided into M phase, G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase. Okay, this is G2, M, G1, S phase. This is the cell division phase. It will take just one hour. This can take 6 to 8 hours or sometimes 6 to 12 hours because this is most variable phase. This is about 6 to 8 hours. This is around 3 to 4 hours. I am not talking about different events associated with the cell cycle. Where is the regulation? Where is the control? A dividing cell of bone marrow or skin or uh, zygote will have control at three different points. One is G1S checkpoint. This is one checkpoint. Another one is here G2M checkpoint. And the third checkpoint is here that is metaphase anaphase checkpoint or spindle assembly complex. Let me go back to this G1S checkpoint. The cell has completed its growth and photosynthesis process in G1 phase. The cell is prepared to go to S phase. The cell has sufficient enzymes, nutrients, proteins. Now the cell is permitted to go to S phase. Imagine the cell is not completely prepared to go to S phase. It would be shocked by tumor suppressor genes such as P53 genes and RB retinoblastoma. They are called tumor suppressor genes. What will happen if these genes are damaged? The cell cycle checkpoint will not work. There is loss of cell cycle regulation. It leads to uncontrolled cell division. You know, that is one of the major reasons for cancer. Look at the second checkpoint, G to M checkpoint. This will make sure that cell has synthesized DNA, cell has completed growth, cell is ready to enter M phase. It should have sufficient maturation promoting factor. It is a combination of cyclin and cyclin dependent kinases. It's controlled over here. It's regulated over here. It means cell cycle can be stopped over here. The third stop is here. That is after metaphase, before anaphase. Why does the cell stop cell cycle in this transition phase? It's transition phase, after metaphase, before anaphase stage. This will make sure that cell has prepared sufficient spindles and secondly, spindles are attached to the, to the kinetochore of the chromosomes. If that is not proper, the cell will not go to anaphase. It means spindle assembly complex or anaphase promoting complex will make sure that separation of the chromosome or separation of chromatid that, is, that depends on the type of cell division would become normal. It means 23 on one side, 23 on the other side. There cannot be like plus or minus 1. If this checkpoint fails to operate, then it leads to plus or minus 1. You study that in principles of inheritance. It's called aneuploidy. One daughter cell will have extra chromosome. Well, when the other cell will have only n minus 1 condition. 
Therefore, this checkpoint is responsible for normal segregation of chromatids or chromosomes during cell division cycle. What have you understood here? M metaphase anaphase checkpoint, G1S checkpoint and G2M checkpoint. So these three checkpoints regulate cell cycle process. Hence cell cycle process is strictly regulated. In bacterium there is no regulation. A bacterium can undergo binary fission when the conditions are favorable. Otherwise it will remain as a dormant endospore. You, dividing eukaryotic cells continuously repeat these events, cyclic events. However, the differentiated eukaryotic cells may stop their cyclic process in G1 phase. It means they don't prepare for DNA synthesis and they don't prepare for next round of cell division. The differentiated nerve cells, muscle cells stop cell cycle activity. All dividing cells of plants or animals exhibit this type of events repeatedly. If you have got any questions or doubts, you can write it in comment box. Thank you.